All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This time, we're taking a look at Brightpaw. Now, thanks to the developers, they were kind enough to provide me with a key to take a look at this game that is not quite out yet. So I'm very, very excited to get into this. It looks like a fantastic game. I've seen a little bit of footage on it, but let's kind of get into it and see what it's all about. All right, so privacy policies, all that fun stuff. Moving on. Act zero, level one. Shelter. Oh, there you are, Theo. Honestly, late to your own dream. Do you even know where you are? Ah, oh, well, it's time we got you sorted out with these cards. Come on now, we haven't got all day. All right. Tap to hold the card to preview and release to play. Okay, so it kind of shows us, so the way this works, um, from what I can tell, is it's kind of a strategy game, and you have these cards that kind of provide you with your movements, um, so we can kind of see how they go. Oh, sorry about that. Just give that rewind button a tap, and we'll see if we can't start walking around things instead of into them. Huh, okay, so it does let us if fix our mistakes. If you yourself in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. Okay, good. Now. Good. Give these a whirl and see where they get you. All right, so we've got some additional cards here. So we know that that one isn't going to work for sure. Um, all right, so that's the one I think we want to use. So let's go around here. Here we go. And then I think from there we need to move forward. And then does this get us kind of where we need to go? It's hard to tell. Um... I move the screen around at all? No. Nope. I don't think that gets us. Well, let's see, but I don't think that gets us all the way around where we need to be. Click and drag to rotate the camera. Okay, so we can. Okay, excellent. There so we you can. go. Fantastic. Remember, Theo, you can look around at any time. Okay, What's so that's going to help us out a lot. Maybe you should give it a peek. Odd cat box. Strangely familiar, but otherwise nondescript box. Washed up on the shores of Theo's subconsciousness. Hmm. I wonder what that's doing sitting around here. Maybe Question. you should keep your eyes open for other interesting things. You never know what you'll find. Already I can well, tell you. We're done here. Go on, leap into your family's arms. Lauren and Nathaniel are waiting. Okay. I can already tell you I love the voice work. Fantastic so far. It's going to be very enjoyable to play this, I can see already. All right, so let's take a look and see what movements we've got here. Um, yeah, I think that's the one we kind of have to use to get to there, and then there we go. So that finishes it off. Excellent. So it's kind of part strategy, part uh, puzzle solving. Should be a lot of fun. Murder. I'm so cute. I'm a little cat. What's that? Oh, okay. Um, well, after being woken unceremoniously by a sudden noise, our hero Theo felt that if he was to be kept awake, he deserved to know why. Sounds valid. Uh, looks like we have a acceptance letter. Um, prestigious school perhaps she's okay. Um, we have our warm, comfy cat bed. Got to have one of those if you're a cat, for sure. Um, all right, so let's make our way across the room here. You know what? I should have probably checked that PC down there at the bottom to see if there was something there. Um, Hearing the yelling from the kitchen, Theo wondered if he had with. really moved from his bed just to listen to some tiff. <laughs> Love that voice work. All right, so it looks like we got a couple of things we can click on here. Awkward posing, happiness, and pride visible on the photos. Okay, so it looks like we got a little bit of that. Um, it's a piano. No longer tend to. Despite his efforts, um, Theo couldn't simply stay here forever. He had to find out what was happening. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I'm working on it. Give me a minute. 
you know what this reminds me of? Um, if you, you guys have ever played any of the, uh, the Bard's Tale game, the one that the newest or latest one that was released a long time ago, uh, came out on Windows. It was a lot of fun to play. It was hilariously dialogued. Uh, this reminds me a lot of that style dialogue, um, which is fantastic, by the way. All right, so let's see. Um, that one isn't going to get us to where we need to go. That one will work. That one will also get us there. So will that. Ah, perhaps things were a little more serious than he thought. I feel like they might be. The kitchen seemed normal. Oh, that doesn't look Except, good. Except, what was that he could see across the room? He had to take a closer look. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to get through here. Um, let's go like that, and then can we hook God. back up there? Theo couldn't believe what he was seeing. His family, motionless on the floor. But that was it. No gun? Nothing at all? Was someone else here? Hmm, the questions make you hmm. All right, so let's go back up here. Let's see if we can make our way over there. Um, I don't think that's the. What's going As he turned closer. away, Theo could only think about one thing: someone was surely responsible for this, and he had to know who. Indeed. All right, so there's our goal. Already, soundtrack, the graphic style. Examining the hallway, Theo saw no signs of the killer. Instead, he found a path of destruction carved through strange machines before him. And the dialogue. All three are absolutely fantastic. I'm loving it so far. Alright, so let's see if we can figure out uh, what we got going on here. Strange robot sitting on the floor, falling pieces. What else we got here? Um, grandfather clock. And there we go. So it actually does tell us how many things there are in the room to be able to take a look at. Nathan's graduation. All right. Um, so let's see if we can figure out how to get through this room here. Um, that's a pretty good start. The deeper into the room Theo moved, the more he realized that something was amiss. That bright red light hadn't always been there, had it? Hmm. Mysterious red light's never good. All right, so let's get over there. Chase. I'm I'm already looking forward to playing more of this later. Um, oh, Although lasers! Although he did not shake the image of his departed owners, Theo suddenly found himself somewhere very different indeed. However, before he could appreciate his new surroundings, he found his attention drawn to the glowing hot wall of energy in front of him. Yeah, that's, um, that's going to be an issue for sure. Okay, so that will take us through that. That seems like a bad idea. We can go right up to it. Faced with something so clearly hazardous, he thought it might be wise to take a moment to think before diving headlong into oblivion. Yeah, I think, um, let's use one of these weight cards. Okay. So that did good for us. Let's get through oh, there. What a pleasant surprise. After his daring maneuver, Theo found that he was still alive. Unfortunately, <laughs> there was one more laser to slip past. Ah, uh, yes, one more laser. Um, I think we need to use our, uh, well, first let's click on these, see what these are about here. Uh, lasers, ruined security bots. Okay, so we can only click on one of them, that's fine. We'll wait for a minute. Um, we probably want to go a little further than, than that. Theo glared at the broken robot blocking his path. After risking his life twice, he was in no mood for this obstruction. Perhaps that broken vent offered salvation. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's go for the vent. Done and done. Still somewhat 
tense from his previous trial, Fear was immensely relieved to find no deadly lasers when he emerged from the vent. On the other hand, he was instead faced with a functional, frantic, and quite soggy security robot. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll take a look at him here in a second. Let's see what we got. Uh, janitor. Flatfish. Uh, goes by the name of Fergus. Uh, Still a gaze. All right. Um, so what else is going on in this room? We've got security droids up there. We've got this guy here we know we need to interact with. Um, so let's go ahead and... Poor custodians being spilled, attempting to clean up after someone else. Alright. Oh, that's a wiggly plant. Um, Alright. Uh, what else we got going on here? Is there something else? I feel like... I think it said that we had one more item in this room that we could interact with. Um, it's not a weird shaking tree. Uh, it's not that. Hmm... Can't quite turn around all the way that direction. I wonder if it's that picture up there that we can't quite see yet. I don't see anything else glowing that we can get to right now. Um, let's go ahead and move As around. As skirted here. by the distracted machine, Fear found himself eyeing the whole riddled aquarium. Either someone was stalking the halls, shooting at water features, or the security needed to work on their aim. <laughs> nice. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Let's. Do we want to use that one or. No, that one doesn't work out. That one doesn't get us quite far enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that one. Let's get there. Alright, so. Can't quite get a look at that picture up there yet. Um, that's not going to do us a lot of good. Though the appeal of fresh fish was enticing, it was offset by the risk of an unexpected bath. Rather than contemplate such a terrible fate any further, Theo decided to make a quick exit. Quick exit indeed. Man, I'm not sure um, what the last thing is we need to interact with. So that's fine. We're going to go ahead and just move on. Um, let's get uh, into the story some more. There we go. Oh, stealth. Advancing cautiously, Theo was encouraged by the sight of another aquarium, this time with the water safely inside, not threatening to unpleasantly dampen his fur. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more seriously. Hmm, okay, so we're gonna have to sneak around this guy. Uh, let's get our interactables first. Here's one out of three. Golden cat statue. Um, Although Theo could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. Did he though? There we go. Okay, so there. Handgun advertisement. All right. What is the other one that we're supposed to? Starfish. Alive, not sure. Dead, maybe. <laughs> Unfazed by current situation, definitely. Nice. All right, so let's uh, let's figure out how to get through that this time room. had arrived. Yes, yes. Uh, all right, so that's not going to do the job. That no. time had arrived. <laughs> the narrator's obviously annoyed with me. Let's go over here. All right, so you can see what direction he's gonna move. Um, Tearing his attention away from the unattainable, Theo delicately stepped between the broken remains of some very expensive looking showpieces. Despite his lack of any understanding of fine art, he was disgusted by the wanton destruction before him. So he's gonna move there. I wonder if I can get past him. Um, 
but going up there. Let's give it a shot Having and see successfully what happens. successfully weaved past the searching eyes of the guard, he was overjoyed to see that he could just follow the killer through a door instead of crawling through the ventilation like a rodent. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next room. We'll get through this uh, one more room and then we'll color coats for this episode, probably. Theo cast his eyes about the grandiose room, the impressive decor marred by the smoking wreckage of robotic guards. Clearly, someone with no respect for interior design had been this way. <laughs> However, Clearly. hanging over the remains of a reception desk, Theo spotted something that took his interest. Bright Poor Industries. Hmm. Mystery deepens. All right, so we've got a vending machine. We know what those are. Um, looks like we've got a reception bot. Can't stop panicking. Refuses to abandon its position. Desk. Um, we've got another security bot there, it looks like. And Brypa, proud majestic company sign. Although this place was impressive, Theo knew he had precious little time to admire it. Um, so we have to deal with... So he'll go past us. And then I think we can move up one more. Despite the damage, the underlying class of this bright poor establishment was clear. The placement of several large aquariums, brimming with exotic fish, was an inspired design choice that Theo could respect valid. Let's wait for a second so that goes away and then we can go up here and turn. Alright, so actually that was the wrong direction. That's not good. Um, Alright, so let's see. Uh, you know what? I think we need to walk that back one. Um, let's turn the other direction. There we go. All right, so now we're in the right. We're on the right path here. Theo crossed the room, breathing in the intoxicating fragrance of fish, while taking care to avoid the remaining hazards. As he did, his mind began to wander. Why was a place like this situated beneath his home? And more importantly, why had these fishy treats not been brought to his attention before? <laughs> of course. All right, let's go ahead and finish this room up. Uh-oh. I think we might have jammed ourselves up. Let's back up one. And there. There we go. Okay, now we got it. Alright, guys. I think we're going to go ahead. Glance, it appeared that Theo had stumbled into a storage room for broken glass. Except... There were other items in the glittering fragments. Grenades? Missiles? An umbrella? Alright guys, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this first video on Brightpaw. Um, these guys have done a fantastic job from what I've seen so far. I look very much forward to playing this some more. If you guys did enjoy it, do leave a like down below. If the video does well, I will continue to put, put them out. Um, and if you guys like them, let me know, please. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the, on the way out, and I appreciate it so much. We'll see you next time.